Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we'll continue our series in the lives of the saints. And on this, the 10th of March, we celebrate the memory of our venerable mother, Anastasia the Patrician. Saint Anastasia lived in Constantinople in the time of the Emperor Justinian, 527-65. Of rich and noble birth, she had been honored by the emperor with the rank of of Proto-Patricia of the court, counting the honors of this life for a little, the Blessed One carefully kept the fear of God in her heart and gave herself with zeal to the practice of his commandments. The demon, that implicable enemy of those who desire to live virtuously, taking advantage of the favor accorded her by the emperor, sowed feelings of hot jealousy in the soul of the empress. When Anastasia learned that she had been the cause of scandal, she seized the opportunity and left the court saying, Save yourself, my soul, and you will thus deliver the empress from her unreasoned jealousy, and you will prepare yourself for the kingdom of heaven, taking with her a small part of her fortune and distributing the rest of the poor. She departed for the city of Alexandria, not far from which, in the place named Pempton, she founded a monastery of nuns, afterward called the Monastery of the Patrician. Some years later, when Empress Theodora had died, the emperor searched everywhere for the beautiful and virtuous Anastasia in order to marry her. As soon as she heard of this, she left her monastery in the middle of the night and traveled to the monastic center of Skitis to Abba Daniel in order to submit her problem to him. The elder clothed her in a men's garment, having her name Anastasios, and installed her in a distant cave in Skitis, giving her the rule to live by fasting and prayer and never to go out of her cave nor to, nor to receive anyone. Each week, one of his disciples came to the place, a jar of water at the entrance of the cave, and to retire silently after having made a prostration. This valiant and generous soul remained thus for twenty-eight years, scrupulously observing the prescriptions of her elder, overcoming her natural weakness and the softness of the habits of the court. She engaged in battle day and night against hunger, thirst, and sleep, and above all against the spirits of darkness that tried to persuade her to abandon her retreat. By her perseverance, she became a chosen vessel of the Holy Spirit, and knowing in advance when her last hour was approaching, she wrote to Abba Daniel on, the sh on a, shared, a shard and asked him to send the things necessary for her burial. The elder, having been forewarned by God during the, a nocturnal vision, had sent his disciple to the cave. After having read the message, Abba Daniel hurried to assist the Blessed One in her last moments and threw himself at her feet, begging her to intercede with God for him and his disciples. When she had received the holy mysteries, the saint greeted the angels who had appeared at her side. And her face, having taken on the appearance of fire, gave her soul into God's hands. On his return to Scythus, Abba Daniel revealed to the brothers that the eunuch Anastasius was the illustrious patrician sought by Emperor Justinian. By the prayers of St. Anastasia, the patrician, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media, leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.